With the third pick in the 2018 NBA Draft, the Atlanta Hawks select Luka Doncic. Doncic pulls up, three-pointer. Bang! Bang! It's good! Doncic wins the game at the buzzer! Yo, yo, yo. Hey guys, Pop and Jock Slay here. Back with another unboxing, and today uh, we've got a little something special for you. I would almost say it's an exclusive for you because I don't think anyone else on YouTube has these two pair of shoes as of right this moment. Don't hold me to that, but I think this is exclusive. So this is your first time, not the first time you get to see them, but the first time you get to see them done in an unboxing, and it's two pairs, and they're for Luca. Doncic, if you haven't noticed from the clip that you just saw, one of the most exciting players in the NBA right now. Obviously, he is a Jordan brand athlete, and uh, I think they're going to do some exciting things with him, and things are starting to move in motion, and these two pair of sneakers are where all that motion is starting to happen. Hopefully, this leads to a signature shoe for Luka, but we'll just have to hold on for that. But for right now, let's check out these two pairs that are releasing this week on the 20th. On the 20th, I believe it is. So first up, we have this shoe, and this is one of my favorite shoes out right now. This is the Jordan MA2. Technically, it's the Jordan Max Air 2. It's a redesigned model, and man, did they do a great job on these. I have been rocking these like crazy. I literally have on a pair right now that look like crap uh, because I've been wearing them so much. Jordan Brand builds this as the shoe that you put by the door and wear, and that's what I've been doing. So. They have, they have this colorway, which they're calling Cosmic, and it's about Luca's out of this world style game and his intelligence when it comes to the game of basketball. And so it has this sort of galaxy theme for the old school sneakerheads that remember the galaxy sort of collection of sneakers that released at All Star a few years ago. Uh, you know that those were a very very big deal and these aren't necessarily galaxy releases but they are cosmic in that same sort of vein and i really love what they do with the jordan ma2 as you see it's really just a basic wear everyday sneaker it's not performance related at all it's really a casual sneaker but they've done some really cool things with it uh one thing that i really really enjoy is the materials that they're using they're really some using some really nice looking suede on these shoes and you see it's here on the eyelets you get it right here around the toe box and you get a little bit of it here on the heel as well it's just a really fantastic look for the shoe in my opinion it gives it a little bit of a, a deconstructed sort of look but it still maintains that sort of air max vibes uh, and speaking of the Air Max vibes, this does remind me of the Air Max 270 a little bit, but it isn't actually a 270, it's more like a 200, and that's based on the airbag here, it says airbag 200, and it is at a 20 PSI. I haven't been keeping up with what those PSI numbers are for each shoe. I know there have been several different shoes where they will actually make the PSI different based on a woman versus a man. I believe the men's, usually their PSI is a little more firm than the women's, especially when it comes to performance and when it comes to running. I believe Nike did it with the Pegasus, but you see a little bit of that happening here. Now this is uh, almost a collaboration between Jordan brand and Nike, and you see that on the tongue. So here on this tongue, you have Nike Air, but then here on this, on this tongue, you have the Jumpman logo. Of course, you have the 23 and all of that sort of thing. You have the weird, uh, I, I don't know what this is, side pull. Is usually, you know, usually you have the tongue pull and the heel pull. This is a side pull, I guess. I don't know why that's there outside of an aesthetic play, but you have that there. It's made of rubber, so it's nice and durable, so that's not going to tear up too bad. As for the rest of the sneaker, you have all those nice materials there, but then you have like this ripstop nylon that goes through the rest of the shoe, and that in my opinion is to help keep the shoe light and breathable so you get some airflow in there it's not super thick but it is really really nice you have a touch of leather just a little touch and that goes around the heel here right around your ankle and you here you have that and i would go as far as to say this is pleather and not actual leather it's a synthetic but you have that extra touch there for that little pop that little bit of gloss because everything else on the shoe is really like a matte color then you have that leather there that gives a little pop a little bit right there that gives a little pop and again you have again that pleather there to give the shoe a little bit more of a texture base and then the tongue 
goes the whole distressed look where it's like the stitching is off and you can see the foam on the inside, which is always a nice touch. I, I definitely appreciate that sort of look on a sneaker. And then the stitching is obviously very, very overt all over the shoe. You have it there on the mid panels, you have it on the tongue, you have it around the ankle. It's just very, very overt. And then one thing that's really cool about this sneaker, I think it's cool actually, uh, because I do this all the time, is they have this oversized heel cup on the outside that's made of rubber. And the intention of that is to do something that we all do, but we probably shouldn't do, and that's to take off our shoes with the other shoe. So when you step here with the shoe, that extra rubber is there so your foot pops out and that gives that extra bit of traction there to catch it as your shoe goes on to take your shoes out. Now we probably shouldn't be doing that, um, but luckily we have this here, this little extra piece here. Make it more, a little bit more durable uh, than it needs to be. And then I believe this is Phylon or Cushlon here, which is nice and soft. Uh, would have been nice if they had to put some React in these too. That way you would have that little soft, cushy feel in there at the toe, but uh, at the price point that these are, I don't think it's bad at all. Um, and also these actually glow in the dark. So you have these outsoles that glow in the dark. This is interesting though, because it's a little more of a, of a yellow, greenish sort of glow in the dark. And usually the glow in the dark outsoles, they generally have like a milky sort of tan off whitish sort of color. And these are more, are, are a brighter, greener sort of color when it comes to the glow in the dark. So really cool touch there, obviously with the cosmic and the dark and then the stars. So to have something that glows in the dark adds up to the whole cosmic thing there. But that's the MA2. This is the casual part of the collection, but now let's get to the performance side of things. And I really love what they did with this box. I am a sucker for the storytelling that's happening on the box and you're continuing that cosmic story here on these. This is the Jordan 35, but it's not any Air Jordan 35. It's actually the Jordan 35 low. See, they have the 35 there. I wish they would have changed the color here. I feel like they've been changing the color. Actually, hold on. Let me grab. I brought these out because I knew this unboxing was coming. And see, see here, like on this 35, how they have the color change there. They have that pop of red. I thought that was gonna be a thing that they did with everything, but obviously not. It's just on this one. Now, you get the cosmic colorway on here, and then you have the Luka Doncic logo there. His number is seven, so you have the seven, and you have the Luka Doncic seven. Very, very cool logo, I like that. That's the first time I've really seen that logo, so I like it, very cool. Then on the box, very simple, the opening up the box. It's the cool Jordan box that opens up. Very, very nice. And then on the tissue paper, you get the Luca logo there. Uh, I, I kind of want to talk about what Luca's doing in the league, but this is just the sneaker unboxing, and I don't want to bore you guys with a whole bunch of basketball facts, but man, he is crushing it and doing some incredible things in the league. And uh, I really, I really, really hope Jordan Brand shows him some love and gets him a signature shoe. But for this one, this is the Jordan 35 Low, and this. This is the first time I've actually had my hands on the low and I really like the look of this shoe. They've made a few changes from the high, which uh, actually make the shoe pop a little bit more for me. It gives it a slightly different look, even though the majority of it is the same. So let's just start with the toe box. I'm gonna grab my 35. Here, I brought my 35 just for this, because I wanted to show you guys the difference between the two. So here we have the 35 and then we have the 35 low. Now, a couple of things. First thing that I notice is the toe down. So I'm a big guy when it comes to the toe down of my shoe. I want it to look nice. And this looks clean. This is a clean look on the toe down. But you see here, they've actually switched it up a little bit so that you don't have like that split toe sort of look. You also notice that the 23 has moved. So the 23 is here in the middle on the 35 and then they move it over to the lateral side on the 35 low. Again, not big changes, but a few aesthetic looking changes that really change the look of the shoe and give it a slightly different feel. Now, everything else on the tongue seems pretty much similar. You know, the 35 is sort of based, loosely based, I'll say, 
on the Jordan on the Jordan 5 so you have the tongue there that accents that on the side front side panel you see you still looks pretty much the same you have the eclipse plate and then of course you have those zoom units one here in the forefoot and one in the heel you can barely see them here you can just see the edges of them um, but those are mad comfy as far as playing in these shoes they're definitely worth playing in if you don't have a pair yet i recommend you get yourself a pair of 35s they're really good shoes to play in moving to the heel another thing that they've switched up a little bit is the padding on the shoe. So I'll lift this up so you guys can see here. You see the padding is a little bit different here on the 35, you have a little more padding than you have here on the 35 low. You still have a lot of cushioning happening here, but it's not as pronounced as you see it here. This obviously gives you a little bit more support above your ankle because it is a mid slash high. This one, because it is a low, you're not gonna need that same support. But interestingly enough, you have the bumps here on like the Jordan 5 here on the 35, and they try to replicate that a little bit here. It's, it's really interesting, it's like, these little tiny bumps. As far as the theme of the 35 logos, well, the Cosmic, because it's Luca's shoe, you see that that story is represented on the tongue, and this is definitely like a pleathery material here. You see how super glossy it is. But you have Luca's logo there, and you have the same thing happening on this trail from the heel all the way around down the eyelets. Now, on the eyelets here, which is something that's also different from the 35, is you get here on the medial side, you can see that they add the 35 there. So you have the three X's and then the five there in that pinkish color that we're getting from those galaxy colors. Now, these are also glow in the dark, as you can probably tell from the color here. So you have that same sort of yellowish outsole that's going to glow in the dark and i believe that these fibers these threads they're going to glow in the dark as well i'm going to wait till it gets dark and then we're going to try it out so you'll see that in some of the b-roll that's happening like right now so see they do glow in the dark doesn't that look cool i haven't seen it yet but it looks cool right yeah totally um something that i noticed about the 35 low and it's something that you're also going to get on the 35 is how thin this outsole is now you can see it because of the eclipse plate you can see it here but you really notice how thin the rubber is there so if you're planning on playing outside in these you're probably going to wear down that rubber pretty quickly and even if playing inside if you're going to wear down this pretty quickly now the traction is great i've played in the 35 and the traction is great like there's nothing um, wrong with attraction it's just that it's pretty thin and I imagine you're gonna wear through that pretty quickly and there's there's probably two reasons for that one is weight um, which obviously you want to keep the shoe as light as possible and because they generally use higher quality materials on the signature line for Jordan brand so that's going to add a little bit more weight and then two just because of that eclipse plate and because the way that it's separated there you don't want this big thick piece here in the middle because that kind of defeats the purpose of having this flexibility that you have here so you have to kind of thin out some of that rubber there so it's really interesting um i'm definitely going to give these a try and play with these in the low and see how uh, it affects the performance here with this lower cut on the ankle but i i think it's going to be fine uh for those that are looking to get themselves these uh these are going to release on the 20th these are going to be 175 i believe the jordan ma2 is one 30 or maybe it's 120 it's one of the two it's 130 or 120 but both of these will release uh separately they release separately it's it's a pack but they release separately these are 175 and i believe these are 120 both are going to release on may 20th if you want to get yourself a pair and uh hey jordan brand if you're watching this uh first of all thank you for sending these over appreciate that uh but second thing uh let's get luca a signature shoe i think i think he's put in the work and uh he's let it be known he let it be known that uh He's, uh, he's an elite enough player to get his own signature shoe. Anyway, that being said, as always, guys, I appreciate you. Make sure you like, favorite, and subscribe. And let me know, what do you think of the Jordan 35 low? Are you here for it, or do you like the regular 35 more? All right, guys, I'll see you soon. Peace.